What's that sound? That's the sound of Teamsters Local 320 and Ashley Council 5 attempting to raid our correctional pension. This is documentation from the Teamsters Christmas Party just this last year. They've enlisted Senator Hayden to help them weaken our correctional pension. Hayden addressed his bill, Senate File 998, the bill to expand the paracorrectional pension coverage to include 911 operators, dispatchers, probation officers, and Hennepin County security officers. Keep in mind, all of these are non-essential positions, with the exception of the 911 dispatchers. I have one particular issue regarding pension, said Hayden. For those of you who are working county security in 911, and some of you who are probation officers, I know your jobs are tough. Some of those jobs are particularly stressful. You work with people who are in crisis or people that are the most dangerous in our society. Those jobs have a way of grinding people down almost the same way as if you're in a combat zone. I can't make any guarantees, but Ed Reynoso, Teamsters Joint Council 32 Drive Political Director, and I are going to work very closely to make sure those jobs are looked upon as other jobs in corrections. Fellow COs, traditionally membership in the correctional plan was limited to individuals with jobs that expose them to increased risk of physical injury and death. As a matter of fact, it required 95% inmate contact. Consider this, if HF884 in Senate File 998 are passed, it will add 1,973 non-essentials to our pension. Consider, the correctional pension was passed because we have the highest injury rate of any public safety job class, higher injury rates than police and fire. Our pension requires 95% inmate contact for a job class to be eligible. If we can to allow non-essential, non-essentials with virtually non-existent inmate contact and non-existent assaults from inmates, we will be in danger of being dumped back into the coordinated plan. Consider, probation officers make up to $90,000 a year. This means their payout, payout from our pension will be greater than the COs it was created for. Consider, with the higher required payouts to non-essential probation officers, our pension contribution could increase up to 2%. What does that mean? It means a 2% cut in our take-home pay to add non-essential people to our pension. Consider, if passed, we may never get an increase in our pension benefit because of higher payouts will be going to non-essentials. The Teamsters know a lot about running pensions. Their own pension, the Central States Pension, is under 40% funded. Under 40%. Our correctional pension is currently healthy, but even Elliot Side, head of AFSCME Council 5, in sworn testimony on January 9th stated that the pension was not financially stable for that large of an influx. Let me repeat, Elliot Side of AFSCME Council 5 in sworn testimony stated that the correctional pension was not financially stable enough for that large of an influx, yet they support it anyway. And they're not done. They've already been on the Capitol to this once and they're going back again. This is one of the most recent posts from the Teamsters Local 320 website. And if you guys at Teamsters wonder why I'm always complaining about you, it's because you're always trying to attack corrections officers and our pensions. Corrections trader Brian Aldis on his blog on that site says, to all the Teamsters of 9-11 dispatch, probation and Hennepin County security, I want to inform you of how our local has made a terrific effort in both educating and convincing state legislators and other public officials of the importance of providing an improved pension benefit for your groups. Interestingly, when us Hennepin County detention deputies were part of Teamsters Local 320, they wanted nothing to do with improving our pension as COs. However, this effort is opposed by employer interests and conservative pension groups 
Supporters, supporters are also having a difficult time getting non-union groups and or associations who represent 9-11 dispatchers and probation officers to support the legislation. Let me make this clear. I have no trouble with 9-11 dispatchers having a better pension. I have no trouble with anybody having a better pension. But if you're going to add people to the correctional officer pension, there better not be one loss of benefit to the correction officers that it was created for. If you can figure out a way to do this without hurting one corrections officer, you'll get no argument from me. But as Elliot Side has said, it is not sustainable. With all that being said, Teamsters Local 320 will continue to support and promote legislation to improve retirement benefits, yada, yada, yada. And they're having a lobby day at the Capitol coming up soon. Fellow corrections officers, write and call and email your state represent representatives and your state senators. We need to put a stop to this raid on the correctional pension. This is very, very important. If we sit idly by, we could find our pension being overrun with non-essentials, making more money from the pension from our pension than we will, and us paying greater contributions for their benefit, not ours. Thank you.